Vladimir Putin says he supports Vice President Kamala Harris or President. <laughs> hmm. His remarks come Can after the vote? DOJ accused Moscow of spreading election disinformation. How worried should Americans be about election interference? If we can name a fake. Послушайте, мы же с вами недавно говорили, и вы меня спрашивали, кто для нас предпочтительнее в качестве будущего президента. Я соединил что-то. Я сказал, что, что мы будем работать с любым президентом. Но я полагаю, что для нас, для России, Байден более предпочтительный президент. Я же говорил, у нас значит, фаворитом, если можно сказать, был действующий президент, господин Байден. Вот он, его сняли с гонки, но он рекомендовал всем своим значит, сторонникам поддержать госпожу Харрис. Ну вот и мы тоже так сделаем, будем ее поддерживать. Это во-первых, а во-вторых... Она... Развещали, значит надо, да? Вот. А во-вторых, она так выразительно и заразительно смеется, что, что это говорит о том, что у нее все хорошо. In a move that has sent shockwaves through the political landscape, Russian President Vladimir Putin has formally endorsed U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris for the 2024 presidential election. The endorsement, delivered during a television broadcast interview, has intensified concerns about foreign interference in American democracy. This endorsement happened the same day that the Department of Justice said it disrupted Russian-directed foreign malign influence campaigns it referred to as doppelganger that sought to spread Russian government propaganda. This endorsement from Putin of Harris now shows that Russia's interference is aimed at bolstering the Democratic Party, rather than the Republicans like the false narrative has been for years. Putin's endorsement, which caught many by surprise, framed Harris as a leader that President Biden endorsed, so he feels the necessity to endorse Harris as well. While the DOJ's accusations mirror long-standing concerns about Russian interference in U.S. elections, the endorsement of a Democratic candidate has fueled a narrative that contrasts sharply with previous false claims of Russian support for Republican candidates, particularly Donald Trump, in 2016. Some analysts argue that Russia's strategic interests actually align with the Democratic administration due to the Democrats being more advantageous to its geopolitical goals. The incident has added a complex layer to the 2024 election narrative, with Republicans now having proof that Democrats are being soft on Russia and actually enabling them. I feel due to Putin viewing Trump as unpredictable and potentially dangerous to Russian interests is the reason why Russia supports the Democrat Party. Harris is seen as a more conventional politician who operates within established diplomatic norms. Putin doesn't fear Kamala Harris the way he does Trump, due to his unpredictability on the global stage, which made Trump a wild card even to Russia. Harris, on the other hand, represents a more predictable and steady approach to foreign policy, which aligns with Russia's preference for stability in its dealings with the US. I feel it's alarming that Russia sees Harris as the candidate they want to win, in which we should be asking ourselves why Putin is so comfortable with a Harris presidency. It's going to be interesting seeing the implications of foreign influence and how it might shape the race, in which the damage that this endorsement has caused to the 2024 election may already be done as the narrative of Russian involvement in favor of the Democrats gains traction. As the election draws closer, the debate over foreign interference and its impact on American democracy is likely to intensify. Whether or not Putin's endorsement will significantly influence the outcome remains to be seen, but it has undoubtedly added a new and controversial dimension to an already contentious race.